Hey, what's good guys, Keaton here, and I'm just gonna get right into it. You're here because you wanna know how to put iMessage on your Android device, and it's actually really simple. All links will be in the description below. You need to download two apps, anyone can do this, and make sure you guys check out that uh, how to hack Snapchat in three minutes video. I'll leave that right up there in the iCard, but let's just jump in. And before I show you guys how this actually goes down, I wanna give a big thanks to iUpdateOS for actually finding this trick. I'll leave a link to his video in the description. Let's get it, we only got three minutes. The first thing you need to do is hop on your Android device. I got my Galaxy S8 Plus here, and and download an app called WeMessage. So once you have that downloaded, you're gonna hop back to your Mac. And that's the key word here. This only works with Macs, iMacs, MacBooks. If your buddy's name is Mac, it probably works with him too. It's kind of ironic that I'm using an Android device with a Mac. I know that's probably what you're thinking too, but nonetheless, let's just get into it. So go to wemessageapp.com, again, links below, and make sure you download the Mac client. So it's all the way down here. Download for Mac OS, so you're solid. Then you're gonna pop back here and you're gonna see Wii Server. So that's what you are gonna be using for this. You're gonna see a terminal command. It's called run command, super easy. Before we go ahead and click that, you need to hop back over to Java. So you're gonna hop back over to this site and make sure you download the Java SE Development Kit 9. Find your computer. Just kidding, it really only works on Mac. Unless you wanna do a VMware on your PC, that'll work too. So now from here, once the Java kit has downloaded, you're just gonna make sure to install it. If you have to switch up some security settings, it's all right, you just gotta make sure you verify it. Now you're gonna head over into the juice, what you're actually here for. Head back into the Wii server file, super easy. Now you're just gonna hit run command. So just like here, it's popping up as an unidentified developer. We're gonna hit open anyways. And the next thing you need to allow in the security app is the terminal command here. All right, now you're done, go back into the server folder cool run command so now you need an email and this email must be the iMessage email you have with your iPhone your iMac whatever it is so I'm gonna put mine in cool I hit enter now it says please enter a password you can enter whatever password you want it doesn't need to be your Apple ID and I do not recommend putting in your Apple ID password just don't do it so now that you can see the command is running we're set. You're gonna hop over to your Android device, type in your IP address. I just use what's, what is my IP address.com to find it. Enter in the email you put in the terminal command, the password that you set, not the Apple ID. Then you're just gonna hit sign in. And bam, just like that, as you guys can see on screen right now, it says Galaxy S8 Plus is now connected. Currently have no messages. Click the new message button to start a conversation. So let's do it. Now the moment you've been waiting for, we're almost done. Let's send an iMessage from an Android device. So I got my Galaxy S8 here and my iPhone 10. As you can see, it's an iPhone 10. You can check it for yourself, Ev. So I'm gonna say, yo, send it. Bam, just like that, it shows up on my iPhone 10. So the only thing is you need to keep the terminal command open at all times and be on the same Wi-Fi network. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you get subscribed and you drop a like. Let me know in the comments if you're just joining the notification squad. Ring that bell and follow us on the Insta story for more cool tips and behind the scenes. Peace.